Hi and welcome back to JR Web Designs where we're going to have a look at the second tutorial. Um, now in this tutorial we're going to carry on from where we left off in tutorial one where we just added a bit of content onto the front page here we have volunteers. So this is the website as it's looking at the moment and um, all throughout these tutorials you'll be able to watch the website take shape um, as we go through each tutorial um, advising you how to add content and modules this login form here is a, a module uh, as is this main menu on the left that's also a module so um, your website will be made up of a number of modules depending on what you want the website for um, obviously when you order you would specify um, which models you wanted from the list that you'll see on the site. Um, so this is where we are at the moment so we'll go to tutorial 2 now we'll go to the back end and what we're going to do uh, is you might have specified that you want a poll on your website uh, so we're going to put a poll here underneath the main menu so that is a module so we need to go to the module manager which is under extensions uh, so you see this link here extensions you click on module manager um, most of the modules will be pre-installed for you to choose which ones you want to have once you um, get your site so we look for poll now and uh, it's not on the first page so we click this number two down at the bottom which is the second page um, and just to fill me it's not there either so obviously I've missed it on the front page There it is right at the bottom, that's why I missed it actually. So you can see it's not published. Um, we can actually publish that straight from there. But just to show you what it's made up of, we, we'll click on the actual link itself. So here it says, show title, yes we want to show the title. Enabled, yes we want to enable it. Position, now it's got there, but it's positioned on the right. We actually want it on the left, so if you click this down arrow, uh, and scroll down to left, click on that, leave that for the time being, we can alter that should we need to. Um, public, yeah we want anybody to be able to see that. That just means the access levels that um, you might want to hide a module for somebody who's not registered to the site, uh, in which case you would uh, flag it as registered and only people who are actually registered to your website would be able to see this actual module. Uh, but for now we'll leave it at public. Uh, we want it to show on the home page um, and these parameters here uh, just explain uh, which poll it is. I mean if you had uh, four, five or six different polls in there you can decide which one you want to be current. You can leave that blank and this advanced parameters um, leave that blank as well. Uh, click on save. So now if we look down this position here and look for the all the modules that are on the left that's where your poll should appear and there it is if you notice before it was down at the bottom that's because it was on the right we changed it to the left so it's jumped up a little bit um, so we go over to the front end now refresh the page and again by magic there it is but I don't want it to be at the top there and you might not either so it's always good practice really to have your main menu at the top so it's the first thing that people can see. So we'll go back into the back end and these little arrows here, that's a down arrow. So if we just click that down arrow, that should move it underneath the main menu, which uh, as you can see there it has done. Uh, so we'll go back over to the front page, refresh it and these should swap positions which they have done so that's a quick two second tutorial on um, activating modules that you'll find in the back end of your Joomla installation so for now take care and we'll see you pretty soon for tutorial number three on jrwebdesigns.co.uk thank you